Nate Kiko going to Cab's house, homie. Not to get my board signed, you heard? <laughs> <laughs> Kiko, what should I call the video? Secret Tony Hawk's Underground Skate Park? <laughs> secret. <laughs> the boys don't know the secret Tony Hawk skate park I'm taking them to. That's a pretty good title. <laughs> We're going to a secret location in San Diego. I feel like it's not. <laughs> and Chris is really, I thought Chris knew what it was, but he keeps trying to guess and he has no idea. I think I've already guessed, but then it won't tell me what it, what it, that I'm right. Well, it's more fun to, if you don't know I what am, it is. I think I'm already right. I just, oh, I have to know. It's literally a spot where Lance Mountain built a pool. There's also a mini ramp to skate there. But there's also a street. No. There has to be. Because why would you invite, you wouldn't invite oh, certain no, people. No many many maybe I'm just like, fuck it, I'll just invite a street guy just to hang you out. You would not do that. Why not? I know you. Gotta... You're looking this up? How are you going to look it up? Oh, then like Wait, do you, you, do you know where we're going, Matthew? Don't, don't say it if you do. No. You, oh, you don't know? I have no idea. There's no other, I can't, there's no other place in San Diego that has a pool and a street section. Oh, let's get the car pulled in. Oh, shit. By the way, those who are while driving, everyone cancel them. Oh, shit. What did you say? <laughs> literally tell him don't say anything and he goes he goes oh. yeah it was crazy when i found out it was like cab's house dude do you know what the funny part is the way i found out someone was not even on the team told me and i just kind of blurted it out right right after deville told me not to say anything <laughs> It's not. sick, but the dragon is just... They made six of those boards, and I have a couple photos of Tony Hawk riding one of those riding in 80, 81. They, they made it in silver because it was my 25 year of coming out with my first board, mm -hmm. and that's the board that I said no to. Uh, so they made 500 of them. Hey, at least they didn't give you a roach. Dude, can okay, you know the skull and sword? Yeah. The red bone skull and sword? Yeah. Me and Miguel were riding that board for at least two years, and then they were like, sick, and now here's your model. Like, look at the difference. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. the right? The skull and sword. Yeah. And then that's going to be my graphic. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah. There's just no way. Yeah. And then, so that's how the dragon came about. Yeah. I'm like, they're like, well, what do you want? And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Let me think about it. And then since I was born near the dragon, I thought, oh, a cool dragon would be, would be rad. Mm -hmm. so it worked out perfect. Worked out a bunch of sketches with Court, and he finally came up with the dragon on the bearing. Oh. Yeah, the first sticker. And Court's still doing graphics. Court's still there. It's amazing. <laughs> Yes, that'll be that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Hey, Party hits me more than else. So this collection here, um, there's nothing on here that has uh, urethane wheels. It's all plastic, clay, and steel. And that's what you started on. Yeah, I started on steel. Then clay wheels and then urethane. But these are all boards um, pre 70. These are steel ones right here? Yeah. Where? Yeah. All steel. Dude, it's so hard to skate on those, huh? Super hard. <laughs> they just like, slide like, and. Like slippery. Yeah. Oh, this one's crazy. The German one? Yeah. That's one of my recent ones. Yeah, that's like. Yeah. Whoa. Those got like rubber wheels. Yeah. Which one's the. Uh... Least expensive. The least expensive? <laughs> you mean the most common one? Sure. Um, it would probably be one of those sharks. Like the shark or the... Or those? 15 toes. A Nash, one of the Nash boards. I feel like I always see people in their collection that always have like a roller derby or like whatever it is. I don't know. What are the top three most expensive or least common? Um, this one here. The Batman. I've only seen two in existence. This Batman, this pirate, uh, you rarely see. I've awesome. never seen another one. Oh, that's sick. That pirate. I like that that's pirate. That's a Nash. How and much How much would these go for? Over a grand, Jeez. at least, for these ones. And then anything uh, Duke Kanahan Hanamoko from Hawaii, he's uh -huh. a surf legend. Anything with his, his face on it, this is over a thousand dollar board here. Ouch. This one came straight from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. um, oh, they got the metal wheels. Yeah. 
That was a crazy one. It was like the actual like wide and like hanger almost. Yeah, look at that. Look at the uh, truck. These are like the original. Um, oh my god. Mega ramp board. Look at the whole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stands out. Before they had I've rubber bushings, you had to spring to spring the trucks back. That's wild. George is working on Made trucks. Made by Humco. <laughs> San Diego, California. How about that? George is working on trucks. We could show them those. Right. those. Spring loader axles. That's sick. I paid three hundred dollars for these Holy myself. Shit. For your own shoe. Yeah. Tight. Uh, Wait. I never got these sent to me. <laughs> oh. Neither from Vans or Supreme. Yeah. And then about 10, 12 years later, I was looking for them, and I had to pay three hundred dollars a month to get them from Japan. This is a pretty sick one, Timberland. That's hard. Timberland and Vans. It's pretty insane. Uh, Star Wars in Vans. These are Darth Vader's, and then the Yodas are behind. Oh, the Yodas. Um, the Bruce Lee collaboration that happened last year. That was pretty amazing. That's your favorite one. Yeah. And these ones are from Moon Eyes from Japan. Wow. It's a, a car show that happens every year. And then 20, my 20 year anniversary release of the half cab. And then this is my 30 year anniversary of the full cab. Wow. And then there's some other <clears throat> Supreme drops over there. There's one from Peanuts, from Charlie Brown. Charles Schultz, Charlie Brown. Mm -hmm. Can't go crazy, right? Like somebody's foot is actually that big. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, oh my God. God. No that promo. <laughs> yep. All right. All right. Yep. Oh yeah. And this goes after that. Jesus. What do you want? Name a trap? Boneless Fakey. Hang up Fakey. Boneless Fakey. Hang up Fakey. Oh, anything else you want? One axle. Oh, hang up Fakey. Switch rolling. What? Oh, hang up Fakey. I want him to snag so bad now. He's not going to snag. Wow. Damn, your most prized trophy. Wow. That's such a sick. How come it's your most prized? Just because. The shape just looks sick. Dude. And you yeah. won too. So how would it work? Um, you stick your you stick your feet. This is broken now, but you stick your feet in here and then push this like this to keep your feet in. That's insane. And then um, the reason why I put this ski right here is because in the powder, this is so flimsy that it would just flop up in the powder, the deep powder. So. I was trying to get it so it wouldn't flip up, so I just mounted a ski here and then here. Oh, wow. And then I put this stuff on here. To, yeah. For um, grip. Yeah. We just use regular Sorrells. I don't know if you know what Sorrells boots are, hiking yeah. boots. Yeah. Because there, there, there was no such thing as a snowboard boot. Use your grip too. <laughs> That's That's sick, bro. Cab, you ready to come with us on Friday? Let's go. Sure. Me and Kiko going. Are you are? <laughs> I've been snowboard since 2012. Really? Yeah, since we premiered um, the documentary in Sundance. Oh, man. Yeah. But this is what a snowboard looked like back in the day. Skateboard on top. Yeah, that's insane. So this is the original yeah, Mike Film or Lucinda's Pro, Bo Pro Board. They came out with like Brad, Bo Brad Bowman's Pro Board, Mike Fulmer's. <laughs> I 
brought these out from my garage because they wanted to uh, archive every single half pod that w that was been released, produced. So then we set up a little photo booth here, and they never made it back in the garage. <laughs> That's why they're right here. Normally they wouldn't be right here; they'd be in the garage. Has any of your advice gone yeah, to the moon show? The moon um, show? N no. Actually, uh, the one that did, um, I sold it. The Red Triumph. The Triumph, yeah. That one was sick. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop it. This, uh, Lance Mountain made this pool. <clears throat> That's awesome. <coughs> Ask him how he got the pool, though. Steve, how'd you get the pool? <laughs> how'd I get this pool? <laughs> I was driving home from picking up that 35 Ford that's out front. Yeah. And I went to show Lance, and I walked into his garage, and this was sitting in his garage, unfinished. I'm like, dude, who's is this? He's like, he's he's like the, guy, the guy backed out. I'm like, wow. I'm buying it then. So I bought it off Lance. I just, had to, I just had to add the glass yeah. to it. So I brought the 35 Ford home and this table in 2005. Damn. But how'd you get the money for this? How did I get the money for that one? What did I tell you? I thought the story was you sold, you had his board and you sold it on eBay to get oh, that. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, that's yeah, hysterical. exactly. So I was able to, yeah, I had one of a, uh, Lance's original decks yeah. and he wanted a lot of money for this and I was able to sell a board that I saved from the 80s of Lance's you know, original model yeah. for the same price he was selling this. So I was basically traded that for mm -hmm. the pool. So he, did he paint in like the scum lines and like, the, yeah. like mm -hmm. he made it all look. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's, that's the light, cool. the light works and yeah. like. It actually oh, fell out. Oh, oh need, yeah, the I light's a, right there. I need to lift this up and put it back, but then there's a little thing, mm -hmm. uh, a battery goes in and you push the light, it, it so lights sick. up the pool. The original 720 game. Do you even know that game? Skateboard game. You don't even know that game, do you? Dude, I was born when like, PlayStation 1 came out. Uh, 1986, <laughs> they, uh, Atari put out this game. Um, the very first yeah. skateboard game ever. Sick. And it's called 720. And I did an ad for them in Thrasher Magazine. And then they asked me what I want for the ad. And I said, can you send me a game? So they delivered yeah. this. So that's the game I got from 86. Dude, that game spin. is you just so spin much fun. The game. Yeah. Spin and jump. <laughs> Yeah, kick button, jump button, and spin. It does bonus ones all over the place. Oh, yeah. sick. Yeah. <laughs> Super fun. Awesome. And this is my Evil Knievel collection. Action figures are colorways. I thought it just came as the white one. I've never seen like the blue Oh, the different or the colorways? Red. Yeah. Yeah. posted it on uh, Instagram and I kind of just made a joke about hey you need my address so you can send it to me <laughs> <laughs> and he's like you want it I'm like oh, sure I'd love it so uh, he sent it to me yeah who wouldn't want it yeah it's pretty, it's pretty amazing it's like a legit like copy of the chin wrap no this is about to be fucked up So this was made to race on the track, especially for me, for the 200cc class. Is this like 70s style? Uh, 69. Wow. What and kind of bike is it? It's a Honda. Honda? It's a CL175 bored out to a 209. So and um, this is how they made them back in the 60s mm -hmm. uh, for racing. It's beautiful. GP. Fiberglass tank. Make it lighter. So sick. <sighs> Never been run on a track. Just on the street for a little bit. I almost just feel like it, you need to hang it up. Just for a little bit. Yeah, you know, it's like, it's like, man, like, I built it to race it, but I'm like, man, if I it race, I'm, it's gonna crash. Yeah. Crash. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yes. Shit. Sorry. The rule is you have to leave it. Leave it there, Herkel. <laughs> That's it, Chris. So he commissioned me to do a, uh, his car. And so he wanted to do like a hot rod rat thing. Uh, who did it? Me. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. So I need to finish the hand and I was working on putting a motor. It's a Volkswagen hatchback from Brazil. Yeah. From the trend wrap, the quadruple. The original one and then Woodward. And then we have a Woodward remake for 30 years later. Try to reproduce the same photo. But he used a flash in that one. <laughs> and then no flash and natural in that one. Natural light on that one. <laughs> Popular board when people first started skating. I think that was a really popular board. That <laughs> one in the bag is insane. The one in the bag? Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Mm. How much is that? How much is that worth? <laughs> that one in the bag? You know, I don't know. You know, I'd have to put it on eBay to see. But it's at least a couple hundred bucks. Wow. You plan on getting more? No, I'm done. You're done with those? Yeah, I got the I got the pretty much of key players that I wanted. Yeah. What's, that? What's your prize one? The most. Uh, this one I've only seen two in existence. Oh my god. Uh, Batman. Yeah, look at that. The wheels are plastic. They're cracked, too. Sick. These, these, are, these are made out of plastic. Try to ride that on the street. Mm -hmm. And loose ball bearings. They're unsealed. Didn't get it. Unsealed bearings. I traded it to another collector. Wow. This was a cool story about this one. You know Airstream? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know the, uh, yeah, the RV people. RV. So yeah. there was a company called Bolas that was their competition in the 60s. See that Bolas? So these guys were competing with Airstream, and this was like a promo thing that they made. That's badass. In the 60s. Wow. Skateboard made out of Tear your shins up. And then you got clay wheels. That's the next flight deck, guys. Mm -hmm. How that is. It bends, it doesn't break. Whoa. That's a pretty rare one too. You probably stop a, hey, you stop a mug game with that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> what year but do you think that is? This is 60s. Wow. Everything on here is 1960. And so the reason Whoa, the why line there's line. no grip tape on the top because everyone used these to skate when there was no surf. Yeah. Barefoot. So they just kind of just barefoot. Yeah, just yeah. kind of on the street. And then when skateboarding, you know, started taking it to like banks and bowls and stuff, they started putting um, grip tape on the top to grip your shoe. And then we had urethane wheels by that time. Wow. Yeah. What's up with this Le Mans one? Um, I guess a lot of automotive companies put out their own kind of skateboard. Yeah. Because like it seemed like surfing and automotive uh, themes, like GT here. Yeah. We got the. The Challenger, we got the. Whoa, I didn't even notice racer. that. Um, where's another one? The Indy 500. Wow. So, yeah. Look at the Mustang. Mustang. Whoa. They're all clay and metal and stuff. Yeah. This is uh, Willie Mays. That's sick. Uh, that. Say hey. Yeah, say hey, Willie Mays. It's kind of worn out. <laughs> that's, like a, that's like fiberglass, I think. What are, are those some yeah, of the key players? Oh, it's a Macaha. I feel how heavy that is. Macaha is my first board. Jesus. Dude, this, this one right here? This is heavy. No, that's when I have it at home, but it's plastic. <laughs> These are like zero dollars. Like this? Mm, yes. This yeah, smaller but wider. Wow. This is heavier than the steel one for sure. I know. I feel heavy that one is. Wow, that's so crazy. These big. are based off like a like a surfboard. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's it's totally a surfboard, huh? I think it's like fiberglass and plastic or something. Yeah, it's a it's a mold, yeah, yeah something a melt. Yeah. It might be wood with well, fiberglass over it. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Like the most. Yeah. yeah. Look at the condition. Yeah, they, they come out. No. What? The, the condition on the painting. Yeah. All the bearings that come out. It's like insane. It looks cool. Wow. Yeah. That's what I used to ride before sealed bearings. I used to ride wheels that the nut held the bearings in, and once the nut got loose, your ball bearings fell out. Oh. And I was on the sidewalk hey, trying to get find all the ball bearings. All the balls back in. Tighten it down. So they thought they could make a cool invention where they put a spring right here. There's a spring and when you push down on the spring, it's a break. it breaks. So if you wanted to stop, instead of putting your foot down, you put um, mm -hmm. pressure on the brake. That's insane. This is prehistoric. Kind of cool. It's just missing a spring. Yeah. That's sick. The Road Surfer. Made by Flynates from Pennsylvania.
Who did the first bottom graphic? It just seems like everything was top graphic in the 60s. None of these have bottom graphics. Yeah, I was about to say. No, that's a good point. Decade later, bottom graphics. Wait, that's the one of the first <laughs> pro Phil skateboarders? Edwards. Yeah, he's a pro surfer. They made him a pro skateboard in the 60s. Mm, never even knew about that. Well, Barry's actually pro model. That's pretty cool. You see that? If, you, if this big. unlooses, the ball bearings will fall out. Oh. Really These aren't careful. sealed bearings. <laughs> but yeah, Phil Edwards, first pro skateboarder. Wow. What a name. Pro model. Good. Good buddy, Buster. That's pretty rare, too. Yeah, the size of your foot. Yeah. Oh. And then these are cut from uh, roller, roller skates? Yeah. Yeah, that's how they made skateboards back in the day. Remember Chicago roller skate. Yeah, this is one of one of the first skateboards. It's like a fence post. Look at this one. That's nuts. I bet it sounds insane yeah. on the ground. Try skating one of those in the pool, it just it's, doesn't work. You can't. That's why the urethane wheel just really... Completely yeah. changed the game. Really changed skateboarding, the progression of the sport.